Yesterday it was um, revealed that uh, Peg Leitenschlager sadly passed away. Now um, she will obviously be remembered by various people in a variety of different ways but um, it's still quite sad that uh, somebody who was only 62 years of age um, apparently died as a result of um, cancer that, uh, that originally had uh, begun back in the early 2000s um, ended up as a, as a brain cancer. So um, as I say, despite um, different people's opinion of her, um, it's still sad and I would ask people to bear in mind that um, I don't think that Stephen Avery and uh, Brendan Dassey will be um, jumping about with joy at the passing of uh, Peg, despite the fact that uh, clearly she is at the root of, uh, of their, their problem. Um, and if you can't see that, Thomas Hence, then seriously pal, take your blinkers off and see the bigger picture. Um, <laughs> some of you may have noticed I've got a different album behind me now. It's an album by Genesis, their very first album. Well, as far as most Genesis fans are concerned, the, the one before that was slightly poppy. This is what most people consider to be the, the first proper Genesis album with the full five piece line, iconic lineup, including Peter Gabriel and Phil Collins and Mike Rutherford and Tony Banks and Keith Hackett. Um, so therefore, um, I'm gonna come on to that in a minute. Um, I was very pleased that in a previous video, I, I tweeted it and um, I got a reply from uh, Steve Drizzen who asked the question, is that Supertramp crime of the century in the background? Answer, bloody well right it is. Which of course, bloody well right is one of the tracks from uh, from the album Crime of the Century. Um, so it's nice to know that uh, Steve Drizzen is a Supertramp fan. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest because uh, he's obviously uh, clearly a uh, very level-headed and sensible person and uh, how many level, sensible, level-headed people do not like Supertramp? Well, none, of course. Um, so, <laughs> yesterday, um, Eric Cozy, uh, fair play to the, to the guy. He has been working non-stop um, producing videos explaining all about the amicus briefs and... Uh, he, he really does work like a like a Trojan and uh, it was interesting at the at the end of his most recent video which was to do with the Innocence Network um, he got a little bit angry which is quite understandable and it wasn't I don't think because they didn't mention in the amicus brief the control question it was more to do with the fact that as he was pointing out, the Seventh Circuit judges were basically um, seeing what they wanted to see and put out the information they wanted to put out, which uh, was most um, biased and unfair. And so, I, I, I do warn everybody, please don't take this literally. This is not to be taken literally at all. But I did send him a, a message, a link to the, uh, the the YouTube video of one of the tracks, the last track on the Genesis album, the Trespass album, called The Knife. And I suggested that this is what we figuratively need to do with Manitrock. As I say, not literal. Don't take this literally because it's uh, quite gory. <laughs> but if you take it from a figurative point of view, I think you'll get the message. Anyway, I'm gonna gonna read you some of the lyrics. You can check out the uh, the YouTube video. The the, the the track is is one of uh, Genesis' greatest sort of rock tracks. It's in a, a shuffle rhythm most of the way through. Features 
some great guitar work and uh, keyboard work and it goes on for nearly nine minutes so it's a bit of a bit of an epic anyway the words are <laughs> tell me my life is about to begin tell me that I am a hero promise me all of your violent dreams light up your body with anger now in this ugly world it is time to destroy all this evil now when I give a word Get ready to fight for your freedom now. Stand up and fight, for you know we are right. We must strike at the lies that are spread like disease through our minds. Soon we'll have power. Every soldier will rest and will spread out our kindness to all who our love now deserve. Some of you are going to die. Martyrs, of course, to the freedom that I shall provide. I'll give you the names of all you must kill or must die with their children. Carry their heads to the palace of old. Hang them high, let the blood flow. Now, in this ugly world, break all the chains around us. Now, the crusade has begun. Give us a land fit for heroes now. And then it repeats the, uh, the verse, Stand up and fight, for we know we are right. We must strike at the lies that have spread like disease through our minds. Soon we'll have power. Every soldier will rest and we'll spread out our kindness to all not, who our love now deserve. Um, some of you are going to die. Martyrs, of course, to the freedom that I shall provide. And there's a lot of shouting of uh, or singing. We are only wanting freedom. We are only wanting freedom, we are only wanting freedom, and eventually we have won. As I say, that's meant to be taken uh, figuratively, not literally, please. <laughs> I, I don't want anybody suggesting that we uh, start attacking various people uh, physically. Um, so, in Eric Rose's video, <laughs> One of the things he tries to explain is how the, uh, you know, how the judges got it all their mathematics wrong and everything, and and I must admit I did have to watch it a, a few times to really get the gist of uh, of what he was saying. It was to do with ratios and denominators and denominators and what have you, um, and in fact it reminded me of the fact that Eric Cozy was telling me that he he managed. Not only did he manage to confuse, obviously, most of us in the video, but uh, but recently he, um, well, he he got pulled over for speeding. You might remember that I got pulled over for speeding and got off with it. Well, <laughs> the, the the patrolman said to him, "Have you any idea what speed you are travelling at now, sir?" And Eric Cozy replied with, "Well, speed is a vector quanta." It cannot be described in absolute terms. And the officer said, well, what the hell do you mean by that exactly? He said, well, officer, let's say my car is moving relative to the road surface and to a fixed point observer at the side of the road, it appears to have a notional velocity of 32 miles an hour. However, to a viewer on the moon, the, route, the road itself would be moving at a speed of 600 miles an hour as the planet turns on its axis. <laughs> he said, however, the Earth itself is spinning around the Sun at approximately 67,000 miles an hour, whilst the Sun is orbiting the Milky Way at about 486,000 miles an hour. <laughs> In court, the patrolman told the judge that Ericose stated that he had been driving at 553,632 miles an hour and the case was dismissed. <laughs> Bye for now.